When I first got my Samsung Galaxy S, um, I was looking around to see when the this particular phone would get the Android 2.2 update, and I found out my particular carrier, T-Mobile in the UK, will be transforming this update via the CAS software, which is made by Samsung, which is a terrible piece of software, so I'm not sure why it's being used, but there must be a reason behind it. So we're all stuck with the CAS software, um, which is a bit annoying to me as I'm a Mac user more than I'm a Windows user. So I do have to find a Windows computer to update my um, phone operating system every now and again. Um, but anyway, to get the CAS software to work on your phone, um, took me a little while to work this out myself. You go to settings on the phone. Then you go right to the bottom to about this phone. And then you go to USB settings here. And then make sure it's selected to ask on connection. Don't have any of the other options selected because this way you can choose on the device which method you wish to use. So if you wish to just mount the device, you can mount the device. Or if you plug it into a computer which does have the KES software, you can use the KES software for updates only, I'd recommend. So that's what I'll be doing. So that's how I've got around this particular bug um, with a particular phone and the KES software. And this seems to have fixed it for me. So I hope you found this video useful and it's answered the question you asked. Um, how to connect your Samsung Galaxy S to the CAS software for updates. Um, you typically find us talking tech 24-7, 7 days a week at tech.flixio.com. Um, if you want to know where I got the particular phone from at retail, less than retail price and re retail discount, please drop me a PM here at YouTube or email martin at flixio.com. I'll be happy to share this link with you where I got this particular phone and the other phones I've required, like the Samsung Galaxy Apollo. Um, until next time.